going on you guys it's your man james aka jp back again with another toy room review and today we're going to be taking a look at the funko pop michael jordan fanatics exclusive version so i've been on the hunt for this one for a while i finally snagged it on ebay for about 25 dollars, which isn't too bad for this figure he was going for way more when he first came out so like i said this is a fanatics exclusive and fanatics is basically just like an online sports website where they sell just clothes and accessories and just everything sports related so that it was was pretty cool to see that they collabed with Funko to bring out this version of Michael Jordan. So the box is pretty basic. You just have the regular stuff here. My box is pretty scuffed up as you can see right here, but I didn't really care. I knew that going into buying it on eBay. I'm not a big inbox collector, so the box really wasn't that big of a deal to me, and that's why I got this for a little cheaper than it's been going for lately. But you got the Fanatics sticker right there, and then you got Michael Jordan here. Coming to the side, you got the same image of Michael Jordan, and the background is a basketball, which is very nice. And then on the back, you got the same exact thing on the side you got michael jordan and the nba logo and then on the top you have michael jordan right there so that's pretty much it for the packaging let me go ahead and get him out of the packaging and we'll take a closer detail look all right at you him. guys and here is mj out of the packaging and i just want to say right off the bat i'm actually kind of very disappointed with this figure there's a lot of qc just paint issues i wouldn't really say qc issues but there's just a lot of paint issues on my figure specifically uh so let's just go ahead and get into it so you have the head sculpt right here and let me just move the camera back i don't know there you can see right here you have like these weird lines just in the face and it, it goes throughout most of the head it's kind of hard to see on camera but you can see like these just spots and whatnot it's very weird not really sure exactly what it is but you can see that all throughout the figure but mainly right here on the front of the figure i don't know what this weird line is and you can only see it in you know certain angles when the light hits it but still not really sure what that's about but other than the head sculpt i mean we saw this head sculpt already with the standard michael jordan figure so nothing new there uh then coming to the actual jersey it's kind of hard to see because his head is casting a huge shadow let's just move the head back and kind of bring the light in just a little bit closer still very hard to see uh, but he has the black alternate jersey here let me move this light there we go so you can see the black jersey there with the red chicago letters and the white outline now technically this jersey should have pinstripes if they were being uh, completely accurate but I understand why they didn't because it's a lot more design work but you can see that right there Jordan on the back and now uh, one major issue with this one and the Target exclusive is that he has a v-neck uh, Michael Jordan does not have or the NBA just doesn't have v-neck jerseys so I don't know why they did that with this and the Target exclusive version on the regular version he has a regular round neck but this jersey has a v-neck Again, not really sure why. Uh, great details on the basketball here, and they have all those individual little bumps sculpted in for the grip of the basketball, so that is very nice. And down here, he does come with the base. He doesn't really need it. He will stand up on his own, but I figured since it comes with it, might as well use it. Uh, now, he is wearing the Concord 11s. Now, my shoe here has a little bit of a speck right there, but that's something that I can just scrape off. But this one's painted fairly well. This one... As you can see, they completely missed the paint on this half of the shoe. So you can see the paint, the black goes, and then it just stops. And then it's white all the way through. All of that bottom white section should be painted. Well, not all of it, but like half of that section should be painted black. You can see the sculpt for it right there, that little bump right there in the paint. That's where it should be painted black up to. But as you can see, it just stops halfway on the front. So that is probably the biggest issue for me, and that's really disappointing. I don't know if I, I might take a Sharpie. Uh, if that'll come out good and just kind of fill that in or maybe just try and get some black paint But I got to do something because that's very very bothersome for me uh, But the rest of the figure is painted pretty decent You can see there the Chicago Bulls logo on the shorts and other than that He's a pretty basic figure So let me go ahead and bring in the original figure so we can go ahead and do a little quick comparison Okay, and here is the original figure now my figure I got to get a new one of these because it broke uh, There's a stand that plugs into the back of this if you guys haven't seen my original review and it fell off the shelf and the stand kind of snapped but part of the stand is still in his back i tried to glue it back in place and it didn't really work so i do have to get a new one of these but luckily these are a lot cheaper uh since it is a common pop but you can see the comparison here uh they both have the same exact head sculpt right there and you see what i was talking about with the jerseys with the round neck on this one and you have a v-neck on this one and the target exclusive again not sure why they went that route but they did but everything else is pretty much the same here 
except for the jerseys. Now, originally, I thought this was going to be my favorite one. Uh, just, I don't know, I really like the alternate jerseys, and I love the Concords. But there's just something about this one here, that whole flight pose, the just dynamic pose that he's in, and the fact that he is elevated off the ground when his base is not broken like mine is. Uh, this one's actually still my favorite one. I still really like this one, and I'm glad to have it, and I didn't have to pay too much for it, or too much over retail for only $25, and this retails for about $11. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm still really, really liking this one. It's just something about that whole flight pose for me that really pushes this one over the top over this All one. All right, you guys, and there's my quick review on the Funko Pop Fanatics exclusive Michael Jordan with the alternate Chicago Bulls jersey and the Concord 11s. Now overall this figure had a lot of potential but with all the QC paint issues on mine uh, I'm just I don't know it's kind of a letdown I'm still really happy to have it and maybe I'll feel a little bit different after I touch up some of those paint blemishes on on this so we'll, we'll see what happens but that's pretty much it for me I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to check out all of my other Funko videos I have a playlist for you to click on the screen popping up any second and I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so as always guys stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys next time